Hey guys, King Cage here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to import images into Roblox Studio. Let's get right into this. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all many different ways. So for the first way to import an image is on a block. So let's go ahead and scale up this little block right here. So first off, to add an image onto a block, we have this little block right here. So what you want to do, go ahead and click on the part, click on the little plus icon right here, and you want to type in Surface GUI. So Surface GUI just right here, go ahead and click on this. And then underneath the Surface GUI, go ahead and click on the little plus icon, type in image label. So we want to type in an image label right here. Then under the image label, click it, scroll down to where you see image right here. And where it says image, click on add image, and then click choose file. And then whenever you go ahead and click choose file, your folders right here will pop up and just go ahead and select the image you want so let's just go under game passes and let's probably select like a vip one right here then click open and then create a name for it make sure that it is an appropriate name or else it won't allow it and then after a little bit of loading it should go ahead and pop up but as you can see it isn't on the block right here that is because it's actually on the wrong face so it is on this face right here so to fix this there's two different ways what i usually do is i just like do this and just like rescale it but the better way to do it if you want to go ahead and put it on like the main face right here is go ahead and click on surface gui and then scroll down under data right here keep scrolling to where it says face and where it says front just go ahead and change that so let's change it to back and not the right one bottom and then left and then right and then top until it just pops up and for this part right here it looks like the correct face was the top one so now we have this right here and if you want to scale this up, what you can do is go ahead and click on image label right here. Also, if you don't want the background, like how it's a little white box right there, then under background transparency, just turn that all the way to the max. And there we go. Now we don't have the background, but if we want to go ahead and scale it up, let's just scroll down to where it says size right here. And then since this is a circle and we want it to be even, we want to scale it evenly. So under size right here, we scale it 200 and then change this one to a two as well. And there we go. Now it's twice the size. And then we can also change it to three right here. And and then we can also change this other one to a three. There we go. And there we go. Now it's massive. And if we want to make it kind of a rectangle shape, then we could just change this to a four and keep the other one as a three. And then it just stretches it like that. So that is how you add an image onto a block. You can put it whatever block you want. Well, let's say you want an image on the screen. So to add an image on the screen, what you want to do is you want to go to starter GUI right here. Under starter GUI, go ahead and click the plus and type in screen GUI. So screen GUI, this one, click on it, then click on the screen GUI, click on the button and type in image label. So if you want it to be a button, like you click it and then something happens, then you would add an image button. But if you want an icon to just be on the screen, then you would click image label just like this and then you have this little box that you can grab and then just scroll down to where it says image down here and then you'll also see all your images so if i want to i can just click on this to put the vip icon but if i want to add a new one then we would click add image and for this one let's say i want it to be like this purple book right here let's open that up open this right here click create and now we have a little purple book let's go ahead and change the background transparency and we can also just scale it up like this if you want to so you scale it up like that but if you want to scale it up evenly what you can do is is hold down shift while you scale it up and then it will just scale up evenly like this if you hold down shift and then we can just go ahead and put it wherever so we could just leave that right there at the top corner which this would actually be a pretty good like index button yeah now if you go ahead and click play you'll see at the top left corner right there we do have the little thing it is kind of behind the chat which i can't close because i'm in studio but we do have that little thing right there which looks pretty cool and if we don't want it right there then we can just like disable this if we want to or we could just delete it all together so i'm just going to delete both of these and also if you want this image right here where someone like clicks on it and then a thing pops up then you would have to do a little bit of scripting but you would pretty much just change the image label over to an image button and also once again if you click on the image label go down to images if you click on this it shows up all the images that you uploaded so we have vip and the book so we can easily just click the book right there and we can just change it back and forth super easily now since they are both uploaded and yeah that's how you add images to roblox studio though that's gonna be all for this video so go ahead and leave like subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'll see you all in the next video.